How are you? Look, I'm also fine, just like you, Moz. <laughs> it's NSK here, number second. I know this is your favorite face that you see every single Friday, and you're probably wondering, Ano mami, bra? Why can you? You know what I mean? Usually there's a couch, you know, there's a guest, and you know, things are happening. There's awards on the table. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Today we're doing things a little different, okay? Today we're moving out of the studio and into the field with our Industry Loop podcast today. Now, the person that we're gonna to feature today is going to be a part two of a conversation, all right? Namibia's greatest producer ever, dare I say. We had a conversation with this gentleman and he revealed who he has influenced. He revealed some of the biggest songs that he has produced in the last 25 years of this country's existence, all right? And I'm talking about none other than Dr. Mavovo Elvo Dirja. So he has invited us, we're gonna to go to his place or his place of work and see what his life is all about. Remember he did mention that he was one of the richest producers this country's ever seen, but then he fell down the ladder. So we wanna see now, okay, since our conversation, how has he climbed up that ladder? What does his life look like? Is he getting the bookings now? You know what I mean? What, what, or what, what exactly is the reality for Dr. Mavovo? Because it's one thing to talk to someone on the couch, it's another to be in their surroundings. And we're going to do that exactly today. All right? As Freda Ahmed said, don't look so sad. In a with the NSK. Stay with me. Let's go. Yeah. You brought industry loop here to to ask the land. Yeah. Now what's the story here? What are we doing here? Uh, I will show you the studio. You will show me? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, I have a small setup. Just, just follow me. After you yeah. say Yeah, my bro. Now my school man, you're welcome man. Just... Ah, no, no. Thank you so much. Peter. Yeah. The, come, just follow me. Man. Okay. Yeah, it's now, here, this door. This is now... This is where you... I have a small setup. You have a small setup? Uh, yeah, for the studio. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, this is the first time we're doing this. Coming out of the studio, we're having a part two conversation with Elbow. He decided to bring us... He still needs to explain what's going on here. He's going to do it right now. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little surprised to be here. Let's see what's going on. Please come in. Industry Loop. The podcast with the NSK and like i said earlier today we're not doing it at our normal studio today we are going out in the field and we are in the field upon invitation from dr mavovo elvo our super producer who has produced the biggest songs in the last 25 years or so it's a part two of this conversation now i'm a little intrigued here i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you i'm a little intrigued i am not so sure what is going on elvo's gonna explain what's going on but basically, so that you have an idea of what's going on, or from what I've seen, we are in Achtelan, Ochimisa in Vintuk. Now, if you're not from Vintuk, if you're not 
familiar with the capital city, Asterland is um, basically at the, at the outskirts of Ventuk, Shanti Town, Silver Town, however way you want to call it. Um, it's, it's not tarred roads, it's, it's gravel here. You saw outside now. Now, Al Elvo, once again, yeah. um, thank you for inviting us, Bud. No, 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 it's my pleasure. But you have to explain to us, what are we doing in Asterland? Yeah. Outside, you said, this is your setup, but I didn't want to ask you too many questions there. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you mean, this is your setup? Make, make me understand, Buddha, because we are, as we are right now, we are in a shack. Yeah. You know, we are in the ghetto. Yes. So, make me understand, what, what's, what, what's yeah. the situation here? No, uh, from our first interview mm. I had with you, and uh, I was confronted by a lot of people. That, uh, not even from that time, even from the past. Mm. People have another, they, when they see me, they, I think they see something else because of the work that was done in the past. Mm. Maybe people think we, I'm living like, I don't know, you know, I got big house in town, I have maybe five cars, you know, people think like that of me. And uh, I don't know, maybe it might be you too, when I came to your first interview, you know, you were asking me, yeah, where's your car, you know? Mm, yeah, I was and asking you, where's your Bentley? The, yeah, <laughs> you were asking me, you yeah. remember, yeah. <laughs> So I just believe that uh, I want you guys to know really uh, what is my life all about. I made this part too because uh, I'm still doing production. I'm trying to, there's people that's trying to, uh, I did seek help né? Uh, because I wanted to get back into the music industry. Now, alone is a bit difficult to get into the industry. I, I really want to produce. I used to work for a company uh, at uh, uh, College of the Arts mm -hmm. as a, as a part-time lecturer. Mm. It helped me a bit. I was there for almost like three years. Mm. That is now like about three years ago. I was working there. Uh, I had a part-time contract there for like about three years, but it expired because when the corona came. Corona came, is it about two and a half years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2020, yeah. yeah. It was around there. So I lost my job because of that. Mm. You understand? Mm. I, I uh, uh, like about two and a half years, so almost three years ago, I lost my job because it was corona. Mm. And we couldn't come back because we were part-time workers in the mm. government. Apparently, the government was involved there. You know, I don't know the inside stories of College of the Arts if you mm. talk about the government, but then, of course, I lost my job because they told us they can't take us back. They couldn't take in full employees mm. to the college. And uh, they unfortunately have to close also the music production course that we were teaching. Because I think till now, music production, I don't know, maybe they're teaching it, but as, I, as far as I understand this, mm. I think they're teaching music theory, but not so but much not on the, what I was teaching there. Uh -huh. I was teaching music production studio, this. Yeah. I was teaching, so that one closed. And we, we not just me, uh, we were like about, I think it should be, oh, we should have been 15 people, or I don't know. Mm. I might be wrong with the number, 15 or so people that was retrenched in, at College of the Arts mm. about that time. And my life took another turn. Now you must understand, it was not this music production that hold me for that other three years. Yeah. Six years ago, I will, I will go way back. Six or seven years ago, life was not easy. And then I got that job. And so yeah, at least that, I, that got whole, a little bit three years. That's why yeah. people put in here. I was mm. quiet. Mm. People always used to ask me, hey, brother, why are you? Why don't you come back in the music industry? Mm. I was focused because there was, I knew already, you know, the music was going a bit slow. Mm. So I couldn't make money out of music that much. Or mm. production, music mm. production. So I was working there. So then I lost my job. Mm. In the, uh, three, almost three years ago now. And there was only one thing to fall back now. Is mm. to fall back. You understand? Mm. I was giving in CVs. My brother is giving CVs maybe like <laughs> good to 20 companies. Mm. As we are speaking, there's still CVs lying there. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. The first year is passing by. Life is getting difficult. I have a wife with four kids. But we are staying here. You guys are staying here? Yeah. So this is not just the student setup. This, the, the, the small bed here is yeah, also this, your living yeah, compound. This, Look, this yard that you're seeing here, mm. it's, uh, this yard belongs to the father of my wife. Mm. You understand? Mm. It's this guy, luckily he was there. We were on the street when I was, uh, I lost my job. Mm. So I had to, I was renting a house in Kratura, in, uh, I rent a house in uh, Greenwell. Mm. And then I lost my, uh, yeah, I was renting there, I, ro now. I lost yeah. most now my job and then I had to move out. Mm. So we were literally on the street, I had wanted to run to Rehoboth. It's a hometown where I'm from, but I, I, I didn't really grow up so much with family. My mother is there. Mm. I would have wanted to, but you must know now, I'm with my wife and four kids. Yeah. Kids there. I can't run and just, you know, I had to alert her. But then her father had this ground, mm. you understand? And he said, listen, I can help you. Uh, uh, we have a, 
we have a place there, but it's a shack. If you can come and stay, I, I, I mean, it's, it's my sister's daughter. Yeah. And you can come and stay here for a while till you are back on your feet again. Mm. That was now about almost three years ago. So mm. the last three years, yeah. um, there was no constant inflow of cash. Mm. And the last three years, obviously, the music production has also been slow. Yeah. And the last three years, it has been exceptionally difficult. Hence why you have brought this reality for us right now. Yeah. So make me understand now. Um, Elvo, make, make me understand this. You are, you are here now. Yes. Ten years ago, this was completely opposite. I had a big house in town, five sleeping room house. You know, I also had a house, I used to rent, but I was renting at the mm. time, you know. Uh, I rent a big house in Auckland Park also, you know. Life was, I was going, but I was not, I, I cannot talk about myself. Uh, I am remarried. I did go through a divorce. So, of course, the ex-wife and me was like partners in a business. So it wasn't fully my business. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was a, I can't claim that. It was a, it was a double it, cash it, inflow. It was a at double least. cash yeah. inflow, yeah. So, uh, uh after the divorce, I lost the business, mm. of course, because I couldn't continue with that one because it was 50-50. Mm. So I had to start new. And of course, you know, you, you, you go through, uh, I, I didn't want to, I don't want to involve my past with, that's not the reason why I invited you. Of course, of course. But yeah. I didn't want to talk about the ex-wife, mm. you know, mm. she's having, having her own, uh, what she's going through. Yeah. I totally respect that. Mm. She's having kids with me, so I can't, you know, want to bring Obviously, her life. Yeah. It is about me now, yeah. what I'm facing. Mm. So. Uh, but I'm just saying, that was now, year from 2010, I had to go work now for companies. Mm. You understand? Because at that time, I didn't have a studio, I had nothing. Mm. That's now like about almost 11 years ago. 11, 12 years ago, yeah. 12 years. I started working for companies. I couldn't work for myself mm. anymore. Mm. I started working for Antonio. Mm. Mm. I worked at a Nigerian company called Sastone Records. Mm. I was at Msasho. Mm. Uh, Msasho Records, I worked there also a bit. Yeah, there was mm. a while that we, I worked a bit together. You know, I'm just working. Yeah. People, people are calling me. But you know, it's like you work till a certain time, then things stop. Of course. You work yeah. a certain time. And if you work with someone, these people maybe give you a place to stay a bit. Yeah. You see how my life was. Uh, they will give you something there uh, to stay. And I mean, I've been with my the wife I'm having now. We, we are now like about 10, you know, almost more than 10 years together. But then uh, as we are staying, you know, I'm also moving up and down. Over. Sometimes down, yeah. she'll come and stay with her people a bit. Mm -hmm. Then she can't be with me because I'm too up and down. I'm not stable. Mm. You understand? I'm just there five, six months, then I must move. Mm. Five, six. We had like a bit of a rough pace, you understand? Mm. Up and down, up and down. Yeah. That's also, I think, also what caused the, our relationship in the past before we were married. Mm. Sometimes we are not together for together a while. Well, yeah. Then we, you know, because of me. Yeah. I'm not stable, man. But mm. I mean, but she was always there for me. Yeah. At least she was there for me, you know. Uh, but we, at the end of the day, uh, w when we are together again, and also I'm trying, trying again. My wife is a, my wife, my recent wife now is, she's the one looking after the kids, you know, she's not really a person that has been through college or what, mm. you understand? This is our housewife, mm -hmm. you understand? So I'm actually the breadwinner, the breadwinner for yeah. me, my wife and my kids, mm. you understand? So she really is looking up on me. I'm yeah. really a protector. So that is why I started working for companies and I, now I lost that jobs Even also. Those jobs, those, yeah. not, not that I'm leaving them, mm. but they are closing that down. Circumstances, yeah. yeah. No, no, they are closing. Oh, the, the companies, they close. They close down. Yeah. Like the Nigerian company closed close down. down yeah. Antonio Arts closed down. Yeah. You can go look now. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you know Antonio. Of course. Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Is he, he still living studio there? Yeah, he doesn't have you that. see there, it's closed. Mm. Uh, the, 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 there was a Nigerian company, Sustons. I don't know if you were, you guys heard about the Ni Niger Boy that yeah, used to be. Yeah, that in that, used to there be was a guy that was singing called Niger Boy. Yes, yes. Now, his sister, I was working for his sister. There's company was called uh, Saston Records. Mm. I worked for John John. You guys remember the Kwaito guy? Yeah, yeah. J-O-H-N. It was called <laughs> Namibian Recording Studios. Uh -huh. I worked there. Mm. You understand? And every time I work there, they give me a, a place for a while. Place, though. Place, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Now, I am, I, I am seeking. I'm tired of running. Mm. I can't anymore. Here is also not my place again. Mm. You must know I'm again being helped. Mm. These people can only help me till a certain one. They, point, told, they yeah. told me straight, we will help you tell you on your feet. Exactly. I can't sit here and relax, just sit, I don't care. Mm. You know, understand? That, that is why I'm here. So if you ask me, what do I have? I'm, uh, I have nothing. 
I don't have I don't have a place or what. That's why I made this. I, I'm actually calling for help. That's mm. why I'm making this one. Let me this, let me yeah. let me ask you this, um, Elva, because you see, <laughs> the reality of our industry. Yeah. I mean, I've been in this industry um, for more than a decade. Yeah. Coming from outside Vintok, even from Morbish Bay. Yeah. You have been in this industry for more than 25 years. Yeah. The reality of this industry is on the screen. Yeah. On Facebook. You know, the chain, the nice things we wear. Oh, yeah. It looks like we are 100%. You know, it looks like we, we have all the money in the world. Um, but we come home to this. Yeah. When we come home to this, we have our silent cries. Yeah, yeah. Um, at what point did you have the realization that maybe it's time to tell the truth? Maybe it's time that people see the real truth. And, and obviously, there's a couple of reasons why we are here. Um, yeah, yeah. It could be the lack of support culture from Namibians in general. It could be the drugs. It could be the alcohol. It could be, like you said, the reasoning. The companies have closed down. Yeah. But at what point did you realize Neiman owns? I'm tired of running. I'm tired of putting on this facade. I'm tired of putting on this smile. I'm saying, hey, I'm fine. But I'm not. I'm in Achtelan. And I'm in a ghetto. At what point did you realize that you, oh, the, the people need to see the truth? It was after I lost my work. My wife was sitting here. We were sitting here. Uh, no money. Sometimes there's nights. Three, four nights can pass by. We don't eat. You know. We, we, it went on like it almost six months. It can carry on like that. You know. My wife was on his kind to ask me, please, you at least you, you are known. At least people know you. Can you not? She is actually the one. You know, forcing me. Why don't you try to at least talk to it? I mean, you are talk someone. Are you not you must have nobody? At least people know you. At least you did something in the past. Don't you think if you at least talk or seek for help, these people can hear you? You have tried already, you lost your work now, you can you not do something? So you, you, because of a Christ always, you understand, I, it come up, but you know, guys to do this is, I, I had to think, sometimes when the year ends, I try, then I try, I, uh, I sometimes just call personal people first and I ask advice, look, I am in this problem, what do I do, what is, uh, I ask advice from people I know, but uh, what lead me up to this now, I have to go live, it's now, uh, like I said, it started three years ago, but now as every year passed by, I decided myself, I think it should have been a couple of months ago, six months ago, I said, no, I'm going to go live. I can't anymore because people are saying, I called to some people, I said, no, we're going to come to you. I, I know a lot of people, man, in Namibia. They said, no, Yavo, give me a while, ne? I'll come to your studio now, man. Ah, ah, you can't. Are you in problem? No, it's impossible. You can't be in a problem. Please, man, you, you are an icon in our country. Let me come there. But then I'm waiting. Months passed by, that person is not coming. Two months, it's, it was going on like that. Mm. Then I get another person I know, he make us wait again. Two months, three months, five, the years passing by. And then I decide, no, you know what? By, th th it's now three years now, they've mm. passed by. Nothing has changed. The, this place is not mine. This mm. place belongs to the people the in law. Wives, father, yeah. You understand? They are helping us by next year. I'm um, just being honest. I, I think I, I want to be as, I, I, I don't want to talk around the corner, mm. you know. I just want to say how my life is really now. By January, February, we have to move out. You understand? And, and it's, today's November. Yeah. The people need to do something also in the yard. They also need to move on. It's not, mm. they have kids. They have big kids here. Mm. You understand? I can't come and just come and be, you understand? So... Uh, but I knew that already, like I said, six yeah, months ago. Exactly, yeah. But I was keeping and trying to see if I can. If you, if you yeah, can, yeah. They, that's why I came to this point. I, no. I, I don't know my hands. I don't know what, if if I, I I just had to do this. There's nothing. I don't know what to do now from here. If it's if it's one thing that I know about a Namibian man, is that we take pride in taking care of our offspring. Yeah. We we revel in the role of being the man and being the breadwinner. And once that has been stripped from us, we feel like nothing. We feel like there's no purpose to live. Yeah. Have you considered, have you not considered, have you contemplated at any point 
um, thoughts of suicide ever because I mean what you're going through right now it mm. cannot be easy man four kids mm -hmm. wife you have industry friends but seemingly they are not helping you I I have kids they are the ones that keeps me going maybe if I was alone here yeah, I could have think like that but I have small kids I, I don't know maybe for a father a person who's really with his kids will understand maybe if you have a small child you know i'm not saying big child if you have a like a baby because i have big, uh, small kids you understand mm -hmm. you will you you if a thought comes you look at your kids that is keeping you going that's what mm -hmm. i'm saying if most of them those kids <laughs> maybe i would have done something yeah. if you look at the industry itself elbow mm -hmm. the ordinary person the ordinary consumer of music yeah does not necessarily see the producer. We see the Gazas, we see the dogs, we see the users, we see, we see the artists. Yeah. Uh, but in bigger industries, you know, like the American industries, the Nigerian industries, you see Dr. Dre. You know, you see uh, um, Don Jazzy. You, you 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 see the producer. You see the man behind yeah. um, that makes these beats, or that engineers the whole process, or that brings everything together yeah um why is that not the case in namibia why why is it that production or producers does not have the same importance in front of people's eyes because again you see the artist but you really ask the producer you really as a matter of fact in in your career in your career the reason why we know about you perhaps mm. is because the artists themselves perhaps felt the need to mention your name and to say yes, but an actual fan base, an actual Namibian following to say, hey, um, I'm going to buy uh, uh, Dr. Mavova's t-shirt. Hey, I'm going to go to his exhibition. Hey, I'm going to, you know, if he has a, if he has a production convention, I'm going to his thing. We don't have that. Why, why is that the case? <laughs> Because now, because now mm. you are finding yourself in this position. Yeah, you have produced all of these great hits. Yeah, I, look, royalties look, 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 are, not, are not showing. No, no, that's why I'm saying me from the first interview. Mm. I want to correct. Uh, sorry for yeah, correcting of course. you. Go ahead, go ahead. Listen, the production. When we say I have produced this, I don't want to be selfish mm. in sitting here and say I have produced this. You understand? Life is real, mm. and I'm not trying to lie something to get some i don't want to do things like that life is real life is what life is coming back to my production i've produced songs worth people mm. i was together in the studio worth the people mm. i just happened to be part of them i don't want tomorrow someone call me and said why do you say you are the one who produced this you didn't produce it i want to be straightforward to this you understand i did uh uh uh, uh, uh i'm a big fan also myself of uh, producer cables <laughs> Uh, of course, yeah, yeah I, I'm, even me myself, I'm a fan of him. I like his work really. And I did watch his thing. I just want him to know I did watch his stuff. And I know he did mention that uh, there was an issue. People, he did mention that, oh, I produced the Shake It song, song. You know, I didn't mention even those things. I don't care. Because the thing is, yes, maybe the person have been with the guy first and then later on, I also said I produce Shake It. Mm. We can be two, but we don't know when did the others go to him. Mm. Maybe they started with him mm. and then others came around, but the others didn't tell me mm. that he was with. Yeah. You understand? So I, I don't have time for that beef thing. That is mm. the smallest things I can cry about now. You understand? Or someone come and tell me, ah, but you're not the one who produces I, you know what, right now, I don't care. That work, where is it now? That's my question. Mm. Whether I produced a thing or I didn't produce it, what is it doing to me for now? For you right now. If it does something big for me, I can talk about it. Mm. But it's not doing anything. Look where I am. Look what is happening with my life right now. Can I break about that in the past? Well, it's nothing. This, it is there. Yeah, you understand? Tangible. If it was paid me, I, I got maybe something out of it. Yes, please fight me for that. Mm. But I don't, I don't have time for that fight now. Mm. I don't have time for people to come and tell me, no, but yeah, well, what did you produce this? Oh, I don't have time for that. That's not going to help me. Whether it's going to be me, is it going to make a change? Mm. Is it? It's not going to make it's a change. It's not going to make a change, yeah. So I don't care. At least what I can tell you, I was in the studio. I, the people who think, who feel like I produced it, uh, I appreciate you. 
I go with you, really, I appreciate for these people that really believe in me, that, that say, Yavo, you are a producer, really, you are a good producer. Guys, I respect you, I appreciate you. I also see other producers. Mm. You understand? And I, if I know someone is good, I can see it. Mm. You understand? Or must I play this thing live for you or do something live so they can see? You know, sometimes, why must we prove? I can prove it. Mm. We can put this thing on now, make the beat right now. Ten minutes we make. That is the type of producer I am. So I don't have time for fights when someone say, ah, I'm just making an example. Maybe there's some hit song playing out there. Yeah. I maybe apparently work in a studio, but maybe because two or three people were involved or the guy was sitting here and he just happened to hear the melody in his head. You know, you know, some, yeah, some, 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 some others are saying, but I wanted to come clear with this. Mm. The others sitting there, I'm here busy working and then the others are like, okay, uh, can we make an idea, man? You know, he's making his idea, and yeah, 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 I mean, I'm producing, I'm still doing, I don't even know what I say, we'll name the word producing, yeah. or let me say it, I'm here playing the keyboard. Yeah, yeah playing the yeah, keyboard. Yeah, you understand. But at the end of the day, I'm still playing the thing, I'm recording, the guy, guy is there, we record, I mix the thing, you understand? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, this, some of these people doesn't want us to say we produced. You understand? I just wanted to be open with this. I think that is strange. Yeah, so then they that say, no, you can't strange. be you. You didn't produce because I came up, it was my idea. Or the guy maybe had a little sample at home, mm. you know, and I'm putting the work now as is, as, is. as how people are talking out there. Mm. You know, I'm talking about this because it means nothing to me anymore. anymore yeah. If it was paying me out, guys, I, I could have protected. I don't care anymore. Mm. If it did, I, I could have. People are sitting with a sample at home. He maybe he made something at home, you know, he played with Fruity Loops there, mm -hmm. F, sorry, FL Studio. FL Studio yeah. yeah, he played with FL Studio, little loop there, little bit of an idea. Mm -hmm. He bring the thing to me. Mm -hmm. Yavu, man. Here's the thing, man. Just hear what I have. I listen to the thing. Bro, what you, you see, this is the question I'm being asked. What do you think, man? Do you think this thing can make it or not? Mm -hmm. I'm being asked that question. Right? The question the others asking me, Yavu, do you think this thing is good or not? Mm -hmm. Now, if I, I could have said nothing. And I would have said, no, I don't know. You are the producer. Yeah. Go tell decide. Me, tell me yeah, what I you can't, want to do. Because I'm not the producer. Exactly. I can't tell you that thing is good or not. I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. You could have said that. Yeah. I could have said that. Mm. You understand? But I did give them answers. I think this thing is good. I think this thing has potential. Mm. You know what? Bring it. Let me add let's, this thing. Let's add Let what me add what, what, what. Go in the, you understand? That is how mm. it worked. That's what I did mm. in the past. Let's be honest. That is what was happening in the past. Mm. The songs take out your gun. The song perfect. Uh, uh, let's talk about Sunny Boy mm. also. Let's talk about like uh, 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 oh, summertime. summertime. Yeah, you know, I don't want to talk always about because I know people when they hear my name, Yelvo, I know. Let's just be open with you. People just think, oh, Gaza. Guys, I worked with more than maybe 200 artists. They are All just of one of the 200. Yeah. Mm. So please, I also don't want people to always rate me when they hear the name. Let's not, uh, those guys uh, also are producers. Both of them. Mm. Yeah, let us make it clear. Uh, yes. Uh, if people ask me, is, is Doka producer, were you a witness if he was? Yes, he is. Mm. He's producing his own thing at home. He is. Mm. Uh, uh, is Gaza doing? Yes, he does production. Mm. You understand? The only thing I just don't know, I don't know if they can finalize songs. Mm. That's all. As I didn't see that. Yeah. But I did see them making beats at yeah. home. And Yeah, I'm just trying to be open. So, so it was the yeah. Sunny Boy, Summertime, it was... Yeah, there Many was there hits, was yeah. others. There was dollar sixties, dollar six Kalampa. Of that course. song was there. Yeah. There was La Ghetto. There was man, how many people were there? There were so many. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to call out people, ne, but yeah. we, on this interview, I think it's about time. I about really, time. I, I really have to say it. Because in the first interview, I was a bit light about it. Mm -hmm. But yes, I was there. All these songs, I was in the studio producing on those songs. Mm -hmm. With, with the yeah. extra people. Yeah, producing, now. not I produce the song alone. I'm not saying yeah. producing on the songs mm. with the artist. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm the one in the, on the computer. Mm. I'm the one doing the recording. I'm the one doing the mixing. I'm the one playing the piano. Yeah. That's why I said, I don't know, then what do you call what? Mm. Because if uh, there is a fight again about me, but therefore you didn't do this, the artist was there, they give you ideas. Mm. Of course they did. Yeah. I didn't say nobody gave me ideas. Mm. They did give me ideas. Yeah. They will. I even expect it's, it's the artists. <laughs> I even expect the artists. If you come in my studio now mm. and you come blank here, I can't know. How can I produce for you? Exactly. And you don't even have an idea. At least come with your idea, bruh. Mm. That's what us producers expect from you as an artist. Mm. At least come with something. If you want to call yourself an artist, have an idea. Mm. Because you, you, you are creating. You are an artist. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, no. Just in, just in terms of 
in in terms of now today now in terms of moving forward you have to move out january february yeah yeah. that's the reality that's in your face right now yeah i'm facing it that's your reality yeah I, I, I have to face it so in terms of now you have your small setup here um will you take it down you have to take it down it, it, by it's february going, it's it has to go it's, down. yeah it's why i said yeah this is what i uh, yeah. i went through like it for the past like almost six years six years yeah if you move take down certain things break mm -hmm. you move again and you go again you know it goes on like that yeah so i i i that, that, that was there's a reason why i called up mm -hmm. because i told you most I'm, i i invited you guys because this is the only platform i'm trying to call there's people out there mm -hmm. really i and i really appreciate you guys so much there's people that have seen me i think i was working at uh, some people that i was touring mm. and there were some guys who really came to me said, oh elvo man we respect you so much man if there's anything i can do there's those people mm. no i can't reach out to them mm. i think this was the only platform there is people that really are seeing maybe uh, that the, there is mm. help out there you understand? I, I almost get the feeling that there was some sort of backlash from the last interview that we had uh, there was some sort of backlash that you faced from some people that were maybe uh, unhappy with what you said. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. What were the situations there? What uh, is it that you said in that first conversation that we had yeah. that apparently offended people so much? Because, because I'm, I'm just trying to understand because you no, are very passionate right no, now in terms of clarifying no, things. Yeah. So I want to understand yeah. what, what were people offended by? Where was the problem? Which part of the conversation no, was I, uh, the issue? No, I mentioned that in the beginning there was nothing. Mm -hmm. no yes of course uh i'm a type of guy in there even but i just didn't say that if you could watch the interview now yeah. you will see i did explain myself but again i'll explain myself and also i will apologize if it doesn't didn't sound that correct for some of the people who was there in the past because we didn't mention all of them mm. i just mentioned that there was nothing in the beginning mm. now there was of mm. course if there is someone said no but there was the you no know, yes you are right there was people there was a wele wele there there was, uh, you know, like yeah, I mentioned, the, the, I can't mention all of, all of them. That's why I'm going now back there again. Yeah. yeah, you understand? I'm saying I can't remember all of them. There was capital K. Mm. You know, all these guys were there. Mm. You know, there was a lot of others here. There was cities uh, being sold also. You understand? Like capital K also, oh, the guys sold cities. Uh, the uh, the wele sold a lot of uh, copies mm. i just wanted to people, correct uh, it also choice, yeah. yeah maybe i just want to correct it also maybe i didn't mention it <laughs> so i think it's my time i mentioned it of course i also know i i was a uh, you must know i was uh i was like looking up to these guys there was mm. Josie joss you mm. know of the fundula i know <laughs> some of these guys remember that yeah, song yeah, so i think it's about That's time it. let's mention the guys in the beginning so mm. these guys have been selling so well well i think also these guys went over twenty thousand copies yes. I'm, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not sure yeah. so yes we have those records but i'm just saying in the i was not con referring to work i didn't do mm. i was referring to your people journey. i work with. yes, yes. i just journey. want to make it clear yeah yeah please so i can't talk about you well i was not working with them mm. i think they worked with a, a guy called david terran uh -huh. yeah david terran uh was a was a why yeah, yeah, white, white guy. guy. Yeah, <laughs> white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, look at the producer of uh, Kalakala Mendoza. Yeah, he was a white guy. Was a white guy. Yeah. He, let's say okay. yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So, uh, David Aaron was a white guy mm. who, who uh, he, I think he also was the one working on pass uh, that uh, uh, man, a man for Gaza. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. So then he also respect the guy for yeah. that. Yeah, I know about that song. Mm. He worked on it. Uh, he also worked with say Wele Wele. Mm. He's a what's Wele Wele? What is the group? Uh, People's, People's Choice. Choice. People's Choice. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. and then there was also a company called uh, I don't know Namibian Recording. There's another company also, mm. also owned by white guys. Remember in the past, there was a lot of Germans. The, and uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, Even yeah. me, I was one of those people who yeah, recorded yeah. there. So I yes, understand. of course, there was those people there. Mm. And then there was a Paul Gibert also who used to do marketing for us. Uh -huh. I don't know, some of the guys in the past will remember that mm. uh, from the groups back then. There was Paul Joubert, a South African dude who used to do uh, mm. a CD duplication, yeah, replication yeah, and so on. Yeah. yeah. Look, Elvo. Yeah, I, maybe I just uh, didn't mention. Of course, yeah. of course. But yeah. I mean, I, I'm but, just, but, but yeah. I, I don't understand how people but, can be of offended. Like if, uh, if we're talking about your journey, we're talking about your yeah journey. you understand i was also looking like, at that way do, do you but understand maybe but sometimes you talk and people, maybe someone might yeah so exactly. i just want to correct that mm. thing you see how many things i just mentioned now 100%. we didn't talk about in the first yeah, of course there was a lot of things going mm. on i'm just talking about in my line mm. you know what was mm. going on there yeah yeah look um you have to move out by february something needs to give 
let me ask you this couple of questions. Can you still work magic, Elvo? The magic don't die. <laughs> it's always you are there. still the I'm wizard. Born of it. I think I mentioned that to you. Yeah, in the first yeah. in the first conversation. You guys, I'm, I'm born of it. So we can call you tomorrow, the next day. We can call you and say, Elvo, listen, we are coming to your studio. Yeah. Can we do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm speaking on behalf on every single creative in Southern Africa right now. I want to give training also. I used uh -huh. to train producers. Mm -hmm. it is, this is one of my visions. I want, I, my vision is, nah, I don't own a place on my, I don't have a place on myself. Me, my family, my kids, we don't have a house. But let me just say it straight. We don't have, we used to always keep on renting. I don't own one like that. I know there is people also doesn't own. I totally respect that, you know, but I mean, I don't have that. I can't, these studios ask you to have your own place. You understand? To run a studio is not easy when you rent. And then the other thing is also to work as a producer. Uh, I'm not uh, uh, encouraging other young guys to say, go in music and you end up, you no, know, not to be able to take right, care of yourself. Yeah. You understand? I know there's some young people also watching me. Mm -hmm. I have to consider that too. I'm not saying that, you know, I know there's a future in music. You understand? There is. Mm -hmm. You don't have to end up having nothing. There is a future, but just be smart of how you do things. Let it also have, be kind of like a two plans about it. Mm. I think if you're in Namibia, don't let music be the only role you're doing. Mm. You understand? Let it be like, they have at least two roles, just yeah. for now. I'm not saying, just, just for security sake. You understand? Mm. And then, uh, uh, that's for the youngsters. And then, till, till me, I'm still going to go fight because, I mean, <laughs> that's all I have. Mm. You know, guys, I'm 45 years old. I don't have time for still <laughs> go learn other new things and what and what and what. What I have is what I have now. Mm. And I have to move on. Mm. You understand? I have kids and stuff. So now all I want is I wanted to start a, to start my studio like how I used to work. Your studio? Yeah, a studio. A and then I have institute. to have a learning institute. But not an institute. Not I just want to give a training. Master yeah, classes. I used to do that in the master past. Classes, yeah. I did that in the past. Mm. I used to train. A lot of producers. I don't want to mention them now, guys. You know who you are. Mm. Uh, I, I I appreciate it that you guys from the past. I also we appreciate each other. I've trained some guys. You know. Yeah. I I don't want to end up. You know. I trained who? I, I yeah, don't want to do that. And then they say, but, ah, yeah, well, they know well, themselves. Yeah. Well, how well, can you take credit for and, my for my? Yeah. For so my I, I'm just saying for those guys, please. I, that, uh, that input I could have give you. I also appreciate that that I did it for you. Mm. So I did it before. But uh, I'm gonna do that again. There's new producers now, guys. I know there's new boys that's coming up now. You guys always have questions about how do you mix and master songs, Elvo? Oh, bro, you you have been look. I have been I have been traveling also. I've been out of the country. You know, I've seen mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. At least I might not be the best, but I mean, come on. If I train you, they might it might even open up a lot of things for you. You mm -hmm. understand? So I still want to do a training thing. Train producers. People ask me how do you do this type of genres. I also want to do. You understand? So I want to give training to these guys. I I I know programming. I know all these things. So mm. I can do that. Mm. Now this that I can do. If I have my own guys, I'm not even asking for a house here. I'm just asking for a ground. Mm. That's all I'm asking. If I can have my own ground on my name, mm. you understand? I don't mind building this again. Mm. You understand? I don't mind. I can build. I'm not here looking for what you understand. Mm. It's very in window is difficult to to be able to, to own your ground. own ground. Mm. That's all I'm after. Mm. If I can at least just get my ground, mm. I will do the rest myself. I will do a my hands. I will even build this with my own hands. hands. I will build it and then we will start there. Mm. You understand? You are mentioning about hey, you are staying far, my bro. Th there is a lot of people here staying here in Astalan. Mm. You understand? I don't care about the location. If you don't have a place to stay, how can you still go on about the location where you stay? Mm. You understand? So mm. I, I'm not that type of person. Yeah. I just want, I don't want to be loose. If mm. I have to move out here, I'm asking where must I go? Mm. With my kids. You understand? Someone maybe might help me again. I go to another friend and say, okay, but I can help you maybe like for two months. For two so. months. You understand? And again, it's yeah. loose. Now you understand yeah. why I'm having this. But all I'm asking, I'm talking to Na Namibian fans and everyone, guys, I'm just seeking I, I, if we can stand together, that's all I want. If I can just at least have a ground, then it's, I can, I can, build, a, I can a, build my thing. It's a ground that you will get from generating revenue, isn't it? Now, you can generate that revenue 
from the music. You can generate that music from teaching. You can generate that revenue if yes. a radio station calls you right now to maybe reproduce or restructure their sound, their jingles, their sweepers. You can generate that uh, that that revenue if a corporate company calls you today and say, "Listen," and I'm at one place, and you're at one place. You, you say, see, you take care of a multimedia. Yeah, you understand. Um, and 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 there is a lot of corporate. There's a the corporate Namibia. There's a lot of private companies now that have that are branching out and having their own um, production mini studios. Look, there's a lot of opportunities. It's perhaps just a, co a, co a conversation of where do we find you. Um, online, where do we find you, Elvo? I'm, I'm, again, I'm asking on behalf of Namibia, on behalf of, on behalf of Southern Africa, um, because you know, the, you know what the great, the, the 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 wise words or the wise people will tell you. Um, don't don't give don't give uh, a, a man a fish, give him the fishing rod so he can yeah. fish for himself. Yeah, yeah I know, yeah, I know yeah. everybody. Um, how do we find you? Is there a number that we can call you? Are you on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, um, where, where do we find you? If if I'm sitting here with a business propos proposition and say, okay, Elva, I've heard you. Yeah. Let's make money yeah. on a serious note. So that by February, you at least have, your, you have some sort of security. And maybe by the end of year, next year, you have your ground. Because we know how this housing situation is. Yeah, people that have been waiting for 10, 15 years for ground, even though they're on the list and they have the money. I also it's tried, a long story. I tried it. It's a long, yeah. How do we find you? I'm on, I, of course, I have a number, I have an email, I, I'm on Facebook, mm. uh, I'm on Instagram, yeah, all that. Mm. All right. Elvo, I want to, I want to, man, as a, as a father, as a Namibian man, in a time where suicide rates are crazy, yeah. at a time where, as Namibian men, we are abusing our women of for course. one or other reason, in a time where jobs are scarce, in a time where <laughs> the industry is, on one end it's booming, but on the other end it has zero structure. I know NASCAM right now, the new board are fighting for some sort of structure, some sort of governmental uh, uh, approval as well, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come to fruition right now. So I wanna, I wanna send, I wanna give you my appreciation for being honest about how you are living. I can tell you right now, as a creative, as an Namibian creative, we would rather die than reveal these type of circumstances. I told you most in the beginning, I don't want to wait till I die. Don't worry, exactly. And you've got those four beautiful kids that you I look at I every know, night yeah, yeah, before yeah. you sleep. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. If there's someone wants to help, that's why I said, I don't need nothing when I die. You don't have to give me anything. Mm. If I can now. have it now, ne, then I can sort myself out when I die. Mm. I don't need anything. I'm supposed to sort out myself when I die so that my family can be sorted out. You understand? Mm. Right now is the problem. I'm sitting in the problem right now. Mm. Must I wait till I die or what? Mm. I'm doing this not for myself. I have, I'm doing this for the music. I want to, firstly, firstly, at least my kids. You understand? My kids need something. I, I, I just want to show them at least I didn't do all that work in the past for nothing. Mm. Uh, I want to do that for them, uh, my wife. Uh, then thirdly, it's the music. I want to revive our music industry. I, I'm not saying reviving, I know, sorry. <laughs> Please, let me not say the wrong. Perhaps that the music is there, it, but I want to... A sound. I, I want to bring a sound. I want sound. to work on a new Namibian sound. 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 But if I'm sound. totally relaxed, ne, I'm thinking, you know, I, this whole time, ne, we did it before, that yes. new sound, we did it in the past. Yeah, I want there. to come up with a new sound. I see this, this new, uh, uh, this Amapiano starting, now people are doing Amapiano songs, doing this Afro pop of what, what. I want to come up with something new, but the problem is, man, you know, so I sit down, but my... You're not in the right state of mind. You, you understand me. You're I, not I, in the right state of mind. You are hungry. Your kids are hungry. How, how can you be, how, how, how can you be creative? How, how, how? But, I how? I want but to you do want to do it. I really want. That's and why I and you can. I just have this, and I don't have to run anymore. Mm. That's all. If I just don't need to run. Because, guys, this I'm sitting in someone else. Yet. I, I want to respect these people. And I want to at least give them their freedom. And I can go now with my wife and kids. Hopefully this inspires many other creatives to also be honest so that we can rally together. Hopefully this shocks 
the powers that be into action. Hopefully this gives the Namibian ordinary men the realization that they have to support Namibian. They have to amplify and celebrate us while we are still here. Elvo Dirhat, Dr. Magovo, thank you so much, Buta. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate um, this. So in our quest to perhaps understand what is going on and the realities behind Dr. Mavovo, Elvo, uh, he invited us to his place. We are at his place right now. Um, and, and we're just trying to understand this thing because in the first conversation, he gave props and he gave all of his love and, and mention and just everything to this incredible woman. This woman that, you know, sometimes would chase him and sometimes she would give up and sometimes she would come back and, but she was there with him. And again, sometimes as entertainers, as creatives, we, we are not honest about, about the people behind us. Elvo is putting everything on the line now. He's, he's bearing his soul to you. And the person that I'm going to talk to right now is his wife, his partner for uh, more than 10 years. If it's one person that knows and that understands what this man has been through, it has to be Osi Korne. Okana Messi, how are you? All right, Okana. Uh-uh, Osi Korne. I just really want to ask you, where, where did you, you, you two meet? <laughs> Do you still remember? <laughs> it's a very long story. A very long story. Very long story. Yeah, no? <laughs> yeah. I know, but, but was, it, was it in music or was it no, your no. family who turned one? No, it was just, we were just chatting, you know, ah, ah. and one day he just showed up at my doorstep and, you know, I met him there in Tura. Yeah. I was staying there at the time. So one morning, while I was, I went out the the the, the night before. Mm. I was still there in my, you know, <laughs> Babala <Sawa. Babala> Sawa, <laughs> He called me and was like, "There's this woman broke in Vanera." Yes, yes, yes. 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 Told me no, because I told him that I was staying that time. Mm. So he was like, "Me, I guess not be woman broke. Mm. Come get me." Yeah. <laughs> Hi. And you're like, "Oh, this guy." Ah, <laughs> my God! I was even looking rough. Yeah. You know? But yeah, it's how we met and yeah. it's been uh, ten plus years. Now, I mean, we are here at your home home place. Yes. Um he mentioned uh, in our conversations that you are one person that has been with him through the tough, through the good, and now you guys are in this position right now where there's no ground, you know, and you have four kids. How does how, how does this affect you? Because, yes, as a man, he has his own stress to try and bring something on the table. But now for you as the wife, for you as his partner, you have to make sure that the kids are fed. You have to make sure yes. that the kids are emotionally attended to yes. while he tries to find some work. Yeah, sometimes we would argue about this because there wouldn't be any work that comes in the studio. And I would be like, can't you at least call a friend or family member, at least all the kids, because I have two small ones that wear nappies. One drinks milk and the other two, one, well, one couldn't go to school this year mm -hmm. because of all this, you know, financial issues, moving around, and the other one is grade two now. He missed one year already, you understand? He missed one year already, and it's, it's, it's very stressful, you understand? But, I mean, I took him as he is. I can't, like, fight him and say he goes still or you understand mm. so i'm um, i mean we are coping but for how long for how long it's even affecting our relationship you yes. understand and it's not what i want. and you see the issue of 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 gender base is a reality in our country yes and i also had a conversation with him i asked him you know I mean, as men, as Namibian men, the minute we don't have five dollars, we resort to either alcohol, we resort yes. to taking the stress out on our partners. Yes. With the two of you, yes, you guys argue. Is that perhaps one of the reasons why you love this man so much? Where he he doesn't resort to that? No, 
Not even since I met Yavo, not even a finger. Nothing. Mm. And I'm sure you've had very stressful times. Very stressful times. We would argue, he would come home drunk. I would be the one beating him. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Sorry for laughing, but, but he yeah. wouldn't touch me. Yeah. He would rather push me away or you know how us are. if you push me, I'll be like, ah, oh, she's twatling. You understand? Mm -hmm. But he won't touch me. What was the worst experience that you guys have had as a family? Um you know, maybe you guys moved out and you were on the street or you were, maybe the salary was not coming in or it was delayed and you had to fight with landlords or maybe the bank wanted to come take something out of your house. What was the worst experience um, that you guys have had as a family? I, I, I think it was the time he lost his job. The, the College of the, the Arts The College one. of the Arts mm. one. I mean, we were renting in Greenwell mm. at that time and all of a sudden he went to work as usual you understand and then it's just like come no leafy uh, uh uh we are laid off now no salary nothing you understand mm -hmm. and it's, it, it was very tough for us that time my baby was one month old he was one month old we had nowhere to go the only people that could take us in was my parents my mom is a cancer patient you understand mm -hmm. and she took us in Every time uh, we go out and rent, something happens, we have to run back here. Mm -hmm. You understand? We are old people. We also just want to stand on our own. Mm -hmm. We can't be like lying on old people's back all the time. What is your message to the artists? The artists, the co no, corporate Namibia, um, and any potential empl employer, um, what, what do you want to tell them? I mean, there's not really much I can tell them, but they know who Elvo is. They know what Elvo have done like all these years. I mean, he did his best. I know as his wife, staying with him, what he goes through in, in the studio. I mean, if there's somebody that really appreciates what he did like for all these years 20 years or so i mean come out we are not asking for much just a stable place for us and the kids for the it's not only for us for the for the actors as well because we 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 planning on we wanna like build a uh, studio place where he can also train some people mm -hmm. you understand so that, you know, there's, there's so many unemployed youth in Namibia. I mean, that could also help them, you understand? True. Yeah. Mm. So I'm pleading, I'm asking, okay, I'm not crying, but still if I, I, I feel like I want to cry, but I'm asking, please, please. I appreciate this, um, because you are normally a person of behind the scenes. You you <laughs> you you allow your husband to be the star, um, so I appreciate you allowing us to to put you on camera, just so that they they see who he talks about, just so that they see uh, the the real situation here. He's not just mumbling. Yes. He is a wife. His dream is my dream. It's your dream. Yes. That is so beautiful, Corne. We wish you all the best, and we will be keeping in touch with you, mm -hmm. and. Um, and, and we will see what we can do before February. Yeah. Thank you. Let's leave it at that. Let's uh, uh, continue with more. This is Indus Loop with the NSK. We will obviously have to come check up on you again. Um, ish. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm emotional, man. I'm emotional. Um, I, I, I didn't expect this. Yeah. I really didn't expect this when you reached out to our producers. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you reached out to us to say, "Listen, come back again," I will. I will not lie to you. I, I, I had a maybe. Yo, I, I had maybe some studio in town in mind. I had maybe a two bedroom room in mind. I, I did not expect to be in Arsenal. I did not expect oh, yeah, I to be on Gravel Run. I did not yeah. expect you to be this honest. And yeah. I really appreciate and I, I thank you. I don't own a house. I yeah. Thank you. Industry loop with the NSK comes to you every single Friday. Um, like I said in the beginning when we started this uh, podcast, 11, 
11 episodes ago we had no idea what exactly we what, what we wanted to do but all we knew all we knew is that we wanted to shine a spotlight on the culture and the culture can mean music dj acting anything that involves the culture business and today we i think we took it up a notch if you want to help this man reach out to him he's not he's not hard to find if you want to help the industry book us um if you're in the boardrooms mention the names if you're in the governmental spaces if you're in parliament fight for the industry so that we have something tangible sustainable because how do we allow a man that has done so much for this country for 25 years to be in the position that he is right now and then when it's rip then we want to show pictures of of us with this man and we want to oh he was a great man oh he was a great man but he was suffering while he was alive just do the right thing thank you so much for watching until the next uh, loop we say gmtm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuckoo, 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 cu